Hey friends, it's Liz, the official craft nerd. Today we're going to do a very simple, quick project to create a shabby chic type breakfast tray that I have been looking forward to making for some time now. I am using a tray that I got from Dollar Tree and this was in this section of items that cost a little bit more than a dollar, uh, but I felt it was a good deal just for a simple wooden tray. I believe it was all of five dollars. As you can see, I've only stained the outer edges. You do not need to stain the inside but you can stain the back if you would like on the bottom. It's completely up to you. I just used the wax across the sides and after I painted it on, I did go ahead and wipe it down. So I'm just gonna measure out this fabric to see what I need as far as to create a pillow top for my tray and I'm just basically eyeballing it making my cuts and measurements off that because the reality of it is is we're going to be gluing this down on the inside you're not really going to see and it doesn't necessarily have to be super perfect So as you see here, I am just folding it in and using some hot glue to glue the fabric into the frame of this tray. Now you could take a staple gun and staple this in and actually, you know, if I was doing this for something other than just the video purposes, I may actually do that if I want it to be more secure in there, but for the sake of this video and for the purposes of what I'm using this for, the hot glue is just fine. Thank you. 
Once I have all the filling in that I need, I'm just going to go ahead and close this up with the same method as before, just folding down the edges of the fabric and adding some hot glue. So just adding a little bit of embellishment to the top of my fabric here, I'm just going to use some older buttons. They do not need to match up. I like that they're wonky and they're a little bit different from each other. But we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue in there. I'm kind of pushing it down on the inside of the fluff in the fabric just to kind of give it just a slight indentation um, to the top of this. I wanted it to kind of have that little bit of a, a, a billowing effect to this, but again, it's not really necessary because this is you know just more of a decor piece but if it is something that you prefer you want that look you know you can definitely try using maybe a staple gun and it would help give you that indentation um, that you're looking for And that's all she wrote on this project, you guys. I just really liked how we were able to give this very plain Jane looking tray from the Dollar Tree a wonderful shabby chic makeover. And you know what? It is, I just think it's super adorable, you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a good thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And if you're new here, I hope you stick around. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You know the whole YouTube spiel, you guys. Until next time, friends, I love y'all. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.